today's video I am going to show you how to use some hot rollers and what I am using is it's really hot so I have to be careful when I pick it up the um, Babless Pro ceramic and ionic hot roller set and I got it from Flatiron Experts online and I'm really excited because I've never done hot rollers on myself although I have actually had this kit used by a hairstylist on me before so I'm excited to do it myself um, it comes with all of those um, hot rollers and then a bunch of little clips that you buy. So I'm going to show you guys how to use this set and I hope you enjoy the video. So before I do anything, I want to protect my hair from the heat. So I'm using my CPR Creative. I've used this in a couple videos. I really like it. It's um, woo, a uh, heat defense and it's for straight and curling body or movement. It's non-tacky and it's heat protecting up to 230 degrees Celsius. So I'm just going to do a couple sprays of that on my hair and run my brush through it. And I'm going to take a hair clip, hair separator clamp thingy. My terminology is just right on spot, isn't it? <laughs> and I'm going to separate the top half of my hair from the bottom. I think this will be the easiest way of going about this. All right. So I'll loop it up in the back and taking my little hair clip clamp thing and clipping that up. <laughs> yeah, water drop everything. Oh, Butterfingers. Alright, so for the bottom I'm going to use these blue rollers and you gotta be careful because they're hot. And I'm taking about this much hair and I'm going to run my brush through it first and then I'm going to roll it up. Now since I have extensions in I have to be careful to not um, let the heat sit on my bonds. Oops, just because um, it will melt my bonds if it's directly on it. So I can't roll it right up to my head, but I will roll it right about to there. And then I'm going to take a clamp and clamp it down. Now one is done, get everything else in clamps. So repeating the exact same process. Grabbing one, I'm going to do all my curls one way, um, all facing backwards. So I'm wrapping the hair back and around this little clamp. All right and clamping it down and I'm pretty sure like once you get really quick with this it could be like a daily thing I know lots of people that set their hair daily I don't think that I would have the patience to do it every single day but I think that it looks beautiful and I can't wait for the end result all right and grabbing a clamp and clamping it in okay so I'm going to do the rest of my head and I will be right back with you I also wanted to mention before I forget, if the hot roller is falling onto your ear, just grab a little tissue and stick it behind your ear because then it will prevent the roller from sitting directly on your skin and burning your skin. So you may look a little crazy, but it works. <laughs> Alright, so I'm almost done. What I'm going to do with my top little section here is I'm going to take whatever pieces are out and I'm going to just take it from the exact middle instead of doing it on the side. Because generally what I've done is just done this side on this side, this side on this side, and rolled it backwards this way. With the top, I'm going to roll it backwards that way. And I'm going to use the bigger, um, the bigger clips as well. I've been using the blue ones, which are the medium-sized ones, and the pink ones, which are the smaller ones. And I only use the pink ones on a couple side bits, but I'm going to use the really big ones just on the top and kind of have more of a looser body full. Not even really a wave, just more body. Ooh in there we go yeah because I like my natural hair is shorter than my extensions so I don't want it to look like um, my natural hair is going to be way curlier than the extensions because it's shorter and the curls will bounce up more so that's why I'm using these bigger ones they're like this I can barely see I feel like one of those sheep dogs <laughs> um, and clip and one more. Oh, it gets hot underneath all this, though I will say that. So the last little bit, taking one of my bigger ones and wrapping it around. Now, like I said, I'm not really concerned in making it an actual curl. I just want it to just be more volume. I can fix the front with like a GHD or whatever if I want to when I'm done. Oh, now to let them cool and I am boiling hot so I'm going to go stand in front of the air conditioning. <laughs> See you guys when this is all set and ready to take out. So these have been setting for like 20 minutes now. It's time to take them out. I'm going to remove the tissue paper from my ears first. 
Um, and let's see how this goes. Oh. <laughs> so I was gonna say, when you take them out, be gentle and don't drop them, and um, kind of like wind them out instead of like tearing them out. But oh, look at those curls already! Look at how short my little extensions go. My extensions are so long, and that's how bouncy that curl is. All right, anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna take them out. So as you can see, <laughs> my bangs kind of got more curly than anticipated, but let's brush this out. <laughs> you know, like, next time I might actually just leave them completely out, because I feel like they're really, really like, hello, volume. They'll settle down in a bit, though. What I will do, though, is get that out of the way <laughs> and spray a little bit of um, shine oil. And this is from Natural Look, and I'm just going to put that through my hair. Um, my bangs will definitely settle down as the look like falls a little bit. Um, I like the look of kind of more wavy curls, and I feel like it'll settle down in just a little bit. Um, what I want to do with this look anyway is pin my bangs back. But I'm going to brush through it. If you want more um, like defined curls, then obviously don't brush through your hair. But for myself, this is what I like. And we'll just leave the one little jerry curl. I like doing a braid when I do curly styles, so I'll actually just use one of these clips. Clip my hair back. And everybody was saying the last time I did a braid like this that it wasn't actually a French braid. It was like a Dutch braid or something like that. Let's just call it a European braid because I have no idea what the difference is. Apparently one of them goes in versus the other one going out and I just can barely do a braid to begin with so don't confuse me. <laughs> Scoop all of these up so you just keep adding bits and bits of hair. I'm really not good at braiding so I probably won't do a tutorial on this because there are many people that are actually fantastic at braiding on YouTube. Um, there's a really, really cool um, YouTube channel that does a braid dictionary, I think. I don't know what her YouTube name is, but search braid dictionary. She'll probably have her videos um, tagged under that. Um, so as you can see, it's not very neat, but I will messily pin it in place. Uh, with a bobby pin. So essentially, you're just going to play with it to your liking. I've added a tiny bit more of my spray. And I'm going to brush a tiny bit more. And like I said, throughout the day, your curls are going to drop a bit, so all of this volume up top will settle down as you go. I would probably, if I was doing this like before I went out, I would do my hair before I did my makeup. And then while I did my makeup, I just let my hair kind of settle. But after you play with it and it's to your liking, and after you itch your arm, <laughs> This is what kind of the final look looks like. I like that I use the medium sized curls, but I'm excited to try the other. Um, and I'm excited for this to drop because I feel like this is way too curly for my preference right now. But as soon as it drops into like those really, really pretty waves, it'll look great. I'll try and take a picture of it um, a little bit later on and maybe I'll chuck a picture in when it's <laughs> kind of settled in. But I have to go. I have things to do and people to see. I hope you guys like this tutorial and thumbs up it. Don't forget to check out Flatiron Experts where you can get these hot rollers. I will leave the link down below. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Don't forget to subscribe and I will talk to you really, really soon. Bye!